Okay, okay. well, thanks very much for coming. I, I just wanted to uh, talk to you to clear up a little, what I believe is a little bit of confusion about the, uh, uh, the, the community rally that was held yesterday uh, with regards to the Bell Reef Beach Park and the, the assumption that I believe was made that uh, the, uh, the uh, improvements to the beach park are at the instigation of Cricket Tasmania or to meet some need of Cricket Tasmania. The reality is that the park is proposed uh, improvements to the park are being proposed by the Clarence City Council as part, as, an, as I understand it, an overall review of all the parklands in Clarence. And as part of the feedback to that review, we, uh, based on uh, advice that we'd had from police and health and safety experts, uh, we, we sought uh, approval or permission to plan for a, a, an entrance to the oval from the park, and that's all it is. Uh, and I'm disappointed that that seems to be misrepresented in, in some way we are seeking, seeking to encroach into the park. Any development that uh, Cricket Tasmania is proposing at uh, Blunston Arena is within our existing boundaries. We're not taking it, we don't propose to take any land from the park. So I'd like to clear up that confusion and as I say, I'm disappointed that people seem to be uh, trying to mislead the community and causing, causing some concern that we may be encroaching in the park. Residents yesterday said though that while there might be steps on this side of the, the boundary, on, on the park side, the ground would actually have to be raised and there would be concrete paths rolled out on the park land. Well, well I mean, that's whatever happens in the park is the council's decision. And as I understand it, the recommendations have been made by an independent consultant uh, retained by the council, nothing to do with Cricket Tasmania. And again, this is only my understanding because of the information that the council's provided to us. In fact, they're levelling the park, so the park would be would be a better facility for the community as well. The uh, the playground, uh, the council's proposing to construct an all abilities playground, so that means that everyone could use it, uh, not just the fit and healthy, but uh, people with disabilities could. Use Use that park. Uh, from my observations, and I am a resident of Clarence, I think the park will be far superior. Now in terms of the footpaths, uh, we don't even know what's proposed there. That, again, that's a decision for the councils. Now tell me more about your submission as part of this draft master plan, the, the, the new entrance. What's prompted that and that particular side of the... Well we're still doing our planning. We haven't, we haven't even submitted a development application to council. We're still in the planning phase but uh, it's been uh, the uh, safety experts and police have said to us there is a danger uh, when we have big crowds here, people leaving and leaving the ground and going out on the street playing dodgems with the cars that uh, it's far, far safer to have an entrance through the park. It will be one of three major entrances to this ground, so it won't be the only uh, entrance and, and exit point, uh, but we've been advised that that is the safest, uh, the safest route to take. What do you make of the community protest yesterday? Do you think they were largely wrong in, in the information? Well, I think they were misinformed, and I, and, I, and I have to say, I think Alderman Richard James from Clarence City Council is being very disingenuous because disingenuous, he knows, we have briefed the council on our, our conceptual plans, and he knows that we are not seeking to encroach into the park. He knows that we, we have proposed an entrance there, but it's one of three entrances, but he seeks to mislead. And that's unfortunate because I think the people are getting concerned over nothing. I think what we will see there is a, a, better, a better community park and a park that is better connected to the Bell Reeve Oval. And just remember, the people who use Bell Reeve Oval, the Blunston Arena, are part of our community as well. Residents were yesterday saying that Cricket Tasmania keeps encroaching on the Bell Reef Park area. Is, is that the case? Well, if you look at the uh, document that the council has put out, uh, Blunston Arena remains in our existing lease, and it's, for as long as I've been involved in Tasmanian cricket, we have remained within that well, lease. You know, shrubs, shrubs may have to be removed if, if that's the decision the council makes, but they'd be replanted. And many of the trees that have uh, planted uh, around behind the, the southern stand, well, Cricket Tasmania had planted. Uh, so we planted them when we did the development uh, 10 years, 10 or so years ago. So, uh, um, and we would replace any trees that if we had, I mean, we don't have to remove any trees, but I would imagine if council removes plants, they will replant them. 
or the recommendation of their consultants is that the park be moved, the, the playground be moved down closer to the car park. I mean, I think if you look at the design for the uh, that the council is proposing, it's a it's a, it's a much more friendly and safer environment for everyone. I mean, it gives us three major uh, entrances and exits to the to the ground. So obviously, that's that's going to be a much more uh, comfortable and much more workable arrangement. But from a safety perspective, I mean, if we had an incident, if you had an incident here, uh, the evacuation, uh, you evacuate people onto the street creates another danger, another safety issue. Evacuating them to the park is, is a much more preferable arrangement. That's the advice that we've received and we're acting on advice, as I say, from police and from health and safety people. What we're looking to do with uh, our entry into the park is also integrate the park with the, uh, the development itself. And the, and the facility we have here. If you look at most grounds around Australia, or a number of grounds around Australia, they, they integrate their park. With the events in the parks, like Jazz in the Park and those types of things, we are looking to assist those events, maybe use our kiosk facilities, our toilet facilities, also our power, so that uh, those, those events can become a, a better event and also integrate our, our facilities into the park and make sure that you know, the community are using the park as well as our facilities as well. So I think we're trying to become more as one with the park rather than be separate from the park. And you'd like to see the area more people friendly by the sounds of that? Yes, that's, that's very correct and also we'd like to integrate that, that, end, that exit from the, the ground into our traffic plan which would take a lot of the uh, people, the patrons away from the, the houses or the residents and those types of things to make it less cars coming into the, to the facility but also make it easier for, for residents around, around here to lead people away from their, their residences. Parking and, and the congestion around um, the streets surrounding the Oval what was an issue identified yesterday by um, residents. So it's something that, that you are aware of and something that you're working to address. We have a traffic plan in place at the moment, but that can always be improved. And I think part of this new entry will assist us in improving that traffic plan and making it less onerous and, and less intrusion on the, on the residents of Bell Roof.